All right, um, you know, I'm very excited to talk about um, how I'm using the task management application ClickUp. And it really has changed the way that um, I'm able to manage my task. And it provides all the features that I've always wanted in a task manager. So I've moved over from Todoist to ClickUp, and I've been on it for like about three or four weeks now, and it's just made a tremendous difference. And so I wanna do is kinda of go in this video and talk about why I like ClickUp. And I'm not gonna talk about how to get it set up because there's plenty of um, you know, videos and instructions about on the website by ClickUp. There's plenty of information about how to get set up and how to use the various features. So basically, I'm just gonna talk about like how I use it, Not hopefully that may give you some ideas about how you may use it as well and some of the features that you want to look forward to when you check it out. <clears throat> so for the, the number one reason why I, I switch from the from Todoist is because most task managers are basically um, based on kind of a vertical list. So they, they pretty much look like sort of like this. You have a list of, of tasks and you have to scroll down to look at them and if you want to move them around you know, you either change the date or you move them to a different uh, folder or a different focus and things of that sort. And again, that's okay if you just want a simple list where you're going to kind of check off um, things you're getting done on a day-to-day -day basis. And, that, and that's fine. But for me, I really needed to have more of a visual display of my tasks. And so you you have in, in ClickUp both the calendar view and a board view and you have different types of board views that you can do and i particularly needed the calendar view now this calendar view is only for um my mac automation tips articles and i just have a few of them here i need to knock out this month but um, i have a work calendar that includes all my uh tasks for uh my other jobs and i don't and i want to click on that right now because it's kind of personal but um, that's the most important thing is to be able to get a view of all my ta oh, important tasks, not all, not every little task that I have to do, but the most important tasks um, in my calendar so that I can, you know, you can move these around if you need to, you know, if I need to, and, uh, and just kind of, you know, really manage my time and manage those tasks uh, much better than, than doing it in a, a, a list view like here. And the list view offers a lot of, um, you know, features as well, but it's just nice to have those, tip, those different types of views. Also, you look at the, uh, they have a, a board view. And this is kind of like a, like a Kanban or a Kanban, I forget what, how, how you pronounce it, but kind of a Kanban view here. And basically in the Kanban view, it's really great because you're not, you can pretty much talk about what statuses that you want to create. You can create your own custom statuses for different parts of your uh, board view. So this is um, really, really great. Um, and I uh, forget what the, that's another, uh, Trello. Trello has pretty much the same thing. And and, and one of the things you'll you notice about ClickBoard, ClickUp is that ClickUp seemed to look at all the other different major task managers and, and, they, and they looked at them and it says, okay, hey, this is missing, this is missing, this is missing. And they took whatever was missing in those other ones and just put it all into ClickUp. And that's basically it. I think they've been able to take advantage of um, many of the, uh, uh, you know, what prior task managers have done and just being able to bring it all in. Now, for many people, this might be more than, might be too much, but if you're ready to kind of scale up and, and just kind of be able to, to manage your task better, uh, I would suggest looking into ClickUp. So you have this board view, which you can create uh, the stat statuses here. For like for my um, articles here that I write, um, I have the idea, start it, draft completed, make revisions, proofread, post it, and then promote, and then repurpose, and then finally, um, I put done here. The reason why you have a done and a close because you can put it as done, but when you put it as done, it, it doesn't mean that it's going to be closed out. That means that you're done, and that ClickUp is not going to count it as um, it's not going to count it as overdue. 
So you can, if you want to just kind of keep it, keep a task um, in view for a while, you can put it in done. Um, and your done can be any kind of uh, status that you want to call it. That's just the one that I call it. You can, you can, you, you have complete control over the type of status that you want to do. And let me see if I can um, show you the statuses. So edit, yeah, edit statuses. See here, so you can, you can create your own statuses and uh, you can put it to done status here. And you can put whatever one you want it into done status, but that just kind of lets let's click up know that you have kind of completed it, but you don't want to close it out yet. So again, and you can create you know uh, statuses and reuse them uh, for different purposes. So I have um, you know review steps. Like if I have I have a, a list of um, articles that I that I save, you know, and I can my status on those can be review do next review uh do this kind of thing and what i mean by uh, this is kind of the same thing here but anyway basically this do next is really important to me because it's a lot of times i put in a lot of things that i want you know to read or to do but i never really get around to doing them so i can just tag these as a as a do next right and i can filter out all my do next um task and see what i haven't you know what i've Sign myself to do that doesn't have a due date because it doesn't these are date these are tasks that really don't have a a hard due date but there's something that I really want to do at some point and so I put a do next to it to to uh, to filter it and get to the, those tasks. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then let me see. Uh, let me see here. What do they want? No, I want to do this. Okay, so get rid of that. So anyway, you have these boards and you have, so that's, that's the major uh, difference for me um, in that is the board view versus the list view. The, the list view is just, it's just not enough. Um, it's hard to manage the task. It's hard to get a visual overview of the task. Another thing that the ClickUp has is the ability to kind of create these uh, kind of fields. Um, they come with a lot of, you know, uh, existing fields, default fields like date, um, date created, date updated, start date. Yes, and it has a start and end date into it, which Todoist does not have, and, that, and I really, really wanted that. So you have a start and due date. You can also assign a status to it. You can put a, a time esti estimate to it. Um, you can put, if you have some statuses where it might be involved, you know, putting numbers or, or money, um, you can put labels in, in there. You can, you know, put email statuses or columns. These are just columns that you create and you can pretty much create your own kind of labels, um, do whatever you want with the money or number columns and that thing. So you have these and these can all be filtered out um, and they can be filtered so that you can only just show or not show certain um, uh, fields. So you can do that as well. And, and, and the filtering here, you can see that it gives you opportunity to to filter according to status, um, you know, tags, filter due dates, priorities, assignments, um, date created, dependencies, recurring dates, um, stuff completed, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, you have a lot of different ways that you can filter out information and you can save those filters. You can save those filters as actually a board or you can save them as a list. Well, you save them as a list first and then you create a board out of it. So you can save uh, those filters as a list and what you can do with your with your saved um, um, list or boards is you can save some as favorites so here you see I have all my uh, do next uh, you know tagged or do next statuses um, that's that's for all across all my um, list um, in ClickUp um, this will show all of those and so uh, the, so all these either all of my uh, do do next uh, uh, task here. So, you know, so I can just kind of scroll down and see those, or I can look at it in terms of a calendar view if I had these assigned to a, a date, which I don't. So a lot of my tasks, I just don't need a hard date to them. Some of them I do, but not, not, not in this case. So you can, you can sign them as favorites and you can also, um, you can take a, a, a task, um, and put it in what's called the tray down here. You can have it, uh, kind of, fold it into a tray and you can kind of pull it up when you're ready to to use it here and uh, 
this is the this is how a typical task will look. You have the title. You can put a description in here. You can also attach a photo, or you can put more than one image inside the description, or you can attach one down here at the bottom. You can do your subtask right here um, and make, make as many of those as you want. You can put a you know a, 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 the log of time to it or or a time estimate to it if you want to keep up with that. You have your due dates and your you have your start dates. Um, so there's a lot of things you can just do um, here. And again, here you can assign a particular status here. Again, based on the statuses that you create uh, for for your your your, your list. Now I, I would admit that it, it it takes time to learn how to do ClickUp. It, it's I I would say that I spent um, three days, not a whole three days, but I mean I spent relatively three days just to get a real good understanding of it, and then. Um, I just kind of I was able to import my task from Todoist and into uh, ClickUp, and it was a pretty clean. It was a, it was okay type of transfer. There are certain things that would not transfer over, and it was, it was a few of the problems. It, it it couldn't transfer over photos and um, any or any kind of attachments that I had in Todoist. It wouldn't transfer those, but it did transfer all the list. And and even the uh, the due dates and so I had to I had to clean it up and I'm still cleaning up some of that but it was at least better than having to, to you know retype all that stuff manually by hand so that was you know again and, and most of that I think ClickUp can pretty much handle um, trying to transfer tasks from you know to do or or Trello or whatever into ClickUp so I think it has a way uh, that you can do that and you can also just kind of export your tasks in a, a CSV file and then just upload them to uh, ClickUp. And that's another way that you can get started with it. But again, I would, I would take a look at just, you know, like as much of the videos that they have, go on YouTube and look at other people's videos, but just read all about it. They have a lot of good, um, if you go here, the bottom here, you can look at the, um, the help here. And then they'll, you have the videos here. They have the they have documents here. They have really good uh, feedback on the chat. I mean, you can just, you know, you can open up a chat right within the application here and, you know, ask your question. And, and they're, they've been really good about answering me within, you know, 24 hours. And it's just, that's just been great. So you get a lot of that. But there's, there's just a lot of good documentation that you want to uh, take advantage of here. And then you can also have all your, um, your different, um, what's called spaces here. Um, <clears throat> so you can have those and, uh, and create those based on how you want. Right. And, uh, those work really nice. Uh, you can create your goals and things of that sort, quarterly goals, what have you. So, uh, those are the things that I really, really like about, uh, about using ClickUp and, and I, I just, I really recommend that if you, if you think that you feel like you're coming up against a lot of walls when you, you know, when you get to, 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 uh, you know, to Doist or, or to, to Trillo or to even Asana. I think ClickUp is pretty similar to Asana, but it goes much further and it's also much more affordable. ClickUp, I think, is $60 a year. Um, and that to me is not a, is not a bad price for the, the type of features they offer. And I'm only giving you some of the top features that I like and prefer, uh, but there's, there's much more because basically ClickUp is, also really used for like business teams, you know, different, you know, corporations or what have you, uh, different departments. So it's really good for that. But, you know, of course, I'm not really working with um, other people. But so, you know, you can just kind of use what you need and other stuff you can just ignore. So it has other things in it um, that uh, you might be find useful. But for 60 bucks a year, I think it just does a lot. And, and I don't see myself moving away from this for for quite some time i i don't unless something else comes along i mean they're updating click up like you know every every week or every other week you know with some new updates uh coming in so um recently they came up with a i think a update where uh you can share yeah you can i think you can share a, a, a list uh publicly so that People don't even have to, they don't have to sign up for ClickUp. They don't have to log in. They can just, you can just share your list. And the only people that will see it is the people that have the uh, URL that you send to. So you can do that. And uh, you can create templates. You can create 
you know, custom templates for your list. You can create uh, templates for the different types of uh, tasks. Say you have tasks that are, that are not recurring tasks, but you, you do use them, you know, regularly throughout the year, but they're not the, they don't come on the same date or what have you. You can save that task as a template and just reuse it what you want. And I, I really wanted that in Todoist and never got it. And so um, they, they always are also good about letting people know what type of features they're working on and, and what's coming up. And, and they always want your feedback about um, what, um, you know, feedback uh, about what features that you want to see. And again, if you go into the help here, um, you can go into the, I think it's here somewhere where you can go um, and, and, and um, talk about what, uh, right here, do your feature request. So you can do a, a feature request right here. And one more couple, one more thing I want to point out too is they have hotkeys. They don't have, they have hotkeys for uh, different things inside of ClickUp. So if you, you know, if you go to the, uh, if you hit the I key, it goes to the inbox, uh, the R key is for reminders. Um, if, you, if you want uh, the T is for creating a new task. And many of these, um, these shortcuts I have mapped to a, um, to a, um, a better touch tool finger gestures so that um, I don't have to, when my hand's already on my, on my um, trackpad, I don't have to take my hand back to the keyboard in order to punch these, these keys in order to create a new task, for example, or to go to my inbox or go to my search. So, but anyway, they, they have those and you can trigger those. They have a slash command in which, you know, you can pretty much kind of have different kind of commands that you can pull up, uh, just use it, you know, right, type in the slash forward slash first and then, um, then, you know, putting in like, you know, say due date or a uh, new task or what have you. So uh, that comes in really handy as well. The, the, just this application, this application just has so many features. And again, you, you're going to need time to look it over. Now, one of the, one of the negatives is um, the, for me, the, the, iOS uh, features are not that good. I mean, I think the iOS, the mobile apps are not as good as I would like them to be. I mean, they're okay, but um, I, I'm, I can't really, I can't really recommend it. If you're, if you're someone that's going to use ClickUp just on an iOS device, you might not be too happy with it. Now they do have a web version of, of, of ClickUp as well. And, and so it might, you might, you know, do better off using the web version of ClickUp in an iOS device rather than using the mobile app is, itself. I just think that it needs to be, needs to have some more work on there. And uh, so I can't highly recommend it there. But, you know, it's there, you know, if you need to just kind of review your tasks on your device. But if, if that's your only one, you might want to, you know, you might want to check it, check it out first before you commit to pay. And, and by pay, they have a... Um, a forever free version so you can you know it's it's limited but you can you can get in there and start kind of playing around with it before you commit to a purchase and um and and just check it out there so and i think they also i'm not sure if they do a I think a 14 14 day maybe a 14 day trial maybe maybe i think you can do a week or something like that so you can do that too but what i would suggest if you do the trial Really try to get in there before you start your trial. Get in there and try to learn as much as you can with the free version and then start your trial with the full version because the full version, you know, gives everything, including the business um, features, uh, which, you, you know, again, if you're, if you're a solo entrepreneur or, you know, what have you, using this individually, you're not going to need all the business stuff, but you can at least check it out and get, get a chance to see it. So anyway, I, I let me know... Um, if, if you're interested in ClickUp, and if you are, you know, I'll do some more videos of some things that, I, um, that I'm doing with it and how I'm using it and how I'm kind of automating it and things of that sort. So really appreciate your time and taking, taking a look at this. And I, um, you know, I hope you check it out. I really recommend it. Thanks a lot.